Okay, so good day everyone. We have here another topic for your Math 1 exercise set 3.1 page 65. Okay, so let's answer number 11, number 13, and number 15. Okay, so salamat nga pala kay sa ating isa pang vlogger na estudyante rin natin si Garcia sa College of Technology ng CA. Uh, Dre Vlog, siya po ang gumawa ng ating uh, introduction sa video na ito. Okay? So, thank you, Dre Vlog, sa magandang Sir Lloyd Classroom na introduction, tsaka sa outro. Okay? So, continue na natin, discuss na natin. Okay? Si Dre Vlog. So, the sum, yung number 11 daw hanggang 16, sabi dyan, uh, use inductive reasoning to decide whether the statement is correct. So, ibig sabihin, lagyan lang po natin ng correct itong statement. It's either true or false. Depende po sa uh, binigay na uh, parameter sa atin o yung given statement mismo. So, para masagutan po natin yan ng true or false, eh dapat itetest po natin sila. Naintindihan? Itesting po natin. Okay? So, number 11. So, the sum of any, sabi dyan, the sum of any two even counting number is always an even counting number. Ano ba ito? Dalawang L. Okay, so, isang L lang po yan. Okay? So, an even counting number. Ibig sabihin, pag pinag-add po natin ang dalawang even, ang sagot po ay palaging even. So, i-testing po natin. Okay? So, testing, test. Okay? So, test dito. Test natin. Test. Okay, ano po ba ang mga even number? So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on and so forth. Basta ganun po. O, 2, 10. Ibig sabihin, kung yung pinaka-maximum na in-multiply mo ng 2, magiging even number po yun. Okay? So, tignan natin. 2 plus 4 is equals to 6. Ano pa? 2 plus 8 is equals to 10. Next. 10 plus 24. Kasi even din yan. 10 plus 24. That is 34. So, meaning makikita natin na kung ano man yung pinag-add natin na any 2 even counting numbers, ang sagot po ay always an even counting number. So, based from the uh, result of our testing, okay, the statement is true. Okay? So, lagay lang natin. The statement, statement is true. Or correct. Yun po ang nilagay natin. Base po sa testing natin. Okay? So, ito po yung sagot natin. Okay? So, the t statement is true. Okay? So, yan po sagot natin. True po ang statement natin. True. Okay? So, number 13. Number 13. The product of two odd counting numbers is always an odd counting number. So, ano po yung mga odd? So, test natin ulit. Test. Okay. Testing natin. Ano yung mga odd? 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and so on. Okay? So, yun po yun. Okay? So, up to the uh, add infinity. Okay? So, testing po natin the product of 2. So, test 1 times 3. Yung sagot po is 3. So, ibig sabihin, add numbers din siya. 3 times 5. Ang sagot po is 15. So, add number pa rin siya. 5 times 7. Ang sagot po is 35. So, add number pa rin siya. 35. So, meaning, based from our uh, test result, yung statement number 13 is true. Okay? Based, based from uh, test result, test results, below. Okay. Ayan. Para sa yung sagot natin. Based from the test results below, 
elastic mer is true o oh, the given statement the given given statement is oh, tama po. Okay? Yun po ang sagot natin. Okay? So, based from the test result, the given statement is true. Okay? Baba na natin konti. Ayan. Baba na natin dito. Ayan. Tapos, yung salot natin, nandito. Lagyan po natin ang box. So, based from the test results below, the given statement is true. Okay? Number 15. Pick any counting number. Yun, by inductive reasoning. So, pick any counting number. So, let, let n is the number. Okay? So, let n is the number. Sabi dyan, pick any counting number. Yung tanong dyan, the result is always twice the original number. So, the result, kung yan po ang result, yung, yan yung result, dapat 2n is equals to the re so, yun po ang result. Dapat 2n or twice. So, ibig sabihin, times 2. So, test natin. Let n. Okay, so, n daw. So, n. First statement. n times 6. Yung first statement. Multiply the number by 6. So, n times 6 equals to 6n. Yun yung first statement. Add Add to the product. So, ibig sabihin, 6n plus 8. Yun yung second statement. Divide the sum by 2. So, i-divide natin. 6n plus 8. Lagyan natin ng close, open close parenthesis. Ito po yung numerator. Divided by 2. And the result will be Result will be 3n plus 4. Yan po yung sagot. Then, divide the sum by 2. O, oh, yun, divide the sum by 2. Subtract 4 from the quotient. So, yung quotient po is 3n plus 4 minus 4. And the result is 3n. So, the resulting... The resulting number is always twice the original number. So, ito pong statement na to ay false. Kasi nga, base sa tinis natin, ayan, sa tinis natin sila. Okay? So, sa result po natin, ang lumabas po ay, ito po ang lumabas. 3n, hindi po 2n. Okay? Pero kung dinibide dito, divide by 2, o divide by 3, siguro ang sagot po ay, hindi yun pwede, di ba? So, alagay natin. The resulting or based from the test result result the given statement is false. Hindi po sila ah, hindi po yan uh, tama. Okay? So, based from the test result, the given statement is false. Okay? Okay? So, based from the test result, the given statement is false. Okay? So, ibaba lang po natin. So, ibaba lang natin. Ayusin natin. Lagyan natin ang uh, box. Ito po yung sagot natin. Based from the test result, the given statement is false. Lagyan nyo po ng ano rito, tuldok. Okay? So, tuldok. Okay? So, yun po ang number 11, 13, saka 15.
inductive. Okay? So, tignan lang po natin through inductive uh, reasoning. Itetest po natin yung statement na yan kung tama o hindi. Okay? So, yan po ang sagot sa number 11, 13, tsaka 15. Okay? So, I hope you understand the discussion through this video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel. Okay? So, thank you and God bless us all.